Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now you may think that this is a regular Lego Harry Potter Hogsmeade Village Visit review video, but I kid you not, it is not that. I actually reviewed the set before it came out a couple weeks ago, so you can check out the review linked above. In front of me, I have the copy of the set that I've purchased yesterday for Mastermind Toys in Canada, set number 76388, obviously Hogsmeade Village Visit. And I actually have the copy that Lego sent me right here. I'll just uh, move it here out of the way. And I decided to actually combine both of these sets together because, like I mentioned in my reviews, the actual size of each set separately just doesn't cut it for me. And it's very, very inaccurate considering that Honeydukes actually looks like this. There you go. <laughs> As you can see here, the Honeydukes we have in the set is so, so tiny and not very accurate if I do say so myself, which is why I decided in this video I would break it down and modify Honeydukes first. And in my next video, if you guys enjoyed this one and if you guys ask me to do the three broomsticks, I'll definitely look into that and consider modifying it in the future as well. Just let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it either way, but yeah, I guess without further ado, I'll share with you guys what I managed to create out of two sets of the Hogsmeade Village Visit, taking into account Honeydukes specifically in this video, which means bags one to three in the set before you. But also keep in mind that I actually use pieces from my personal collection to make it more spicy, if you will, because the selection that I had in both sets were just so limited and very hard to play with, if you will. So I had to add my own touch to it, considering that I just didn't have enough roof pieces or interior design details. You'll see what I mean later on in this video. So without further ado, let's take a look at my Honeyduke smock and see what it has to offer. Hopefully you guys will like it. So right here, I have my Honeyduke smock made out of bags one to three from two different Hogsmeade Village visit sets. And of course, pieces in my collection that will be more evident as this video carries on and as I show you guys more detail. Now, right off the bat, the overall structure of this set essentially looks like Honeydukes from the Hogsmeade set. The Honeydukes from the set itself was actually cut at an angle there which seemed a bit disturbing to me because I was expecting the other half of Honeydukes to be there but unfortunately the Lego model did not have that to offer so I decided to do it myself so there we go right here in the roof we have it continuing and carrying on until the second part of Honeydukes of course ending at another angle there Naturally so, because this is essentially the Honeyduke Sweet Shop block in the Hogsmeade Village Visit. As you can see there, I've exaggerated with the snow detail there because I figure that Honeydukes is quite the snowy place and it deserved to be more evident in the set, if you will. So I'm really happy with that as well. We have some snow peeking up there and Hedwig just uh, watching us as always. Creepy owl. <laughs> And at the top there we have chimneys. We have a grand total of three chimneys, just like the reference photo that I've used to create this mock. And I think that it turned out pretty well. And on this angle right here, you can see that the side build is rather similar to the standard Honeyduke set. It's just carried on from this side here to the other side here, but I've added some little snow detailing, of course, just creeping up there and more rock work and stuff like that. But in general, I wanted to at least stay within the range of Honeydukes, considering that I had a limited pea selection to play with. And that was quite challenging because of course I had to uh, cheat, if you will, and use my own pieces to finish off the roof because these little pieces like the two by threes and two by fours weren't available in any of the sets, so I had to steal them from my collection. So there we go. And the roof, of course, like I said earlier, is quite consistent. Now taking a look at the back of the mock, this is where things get very exciting and very interesting. I figured I would take a look at how I designed the upper portion of Honeydukes. Now Mr. and Mrs. Flume actually live in the upper portion of the Honeyduke Sweet Shop. First of all, in this section we have the orange recliner, which I decided to go with the color orange because the color fit with the rest of the set. And it seemed like a very cozy, comfy color, very suitable for Mr. Flume there. And of course we have two candles just chilling, warming up the place, and a little basket because why not? And on this side I decided to just carry on with the arced design of the inside because that is the overall structure of that area. And of course we have the main arc there. This area I decided to close off because I just felt like doing that. It felt right to me at that moment. And in the center here we have a supporting beam for the rest of the roof. I thought that going with a light bluish gray and dark bluish gray color scheme for this little column would be very suitable for the atmosphere, of course. And on the back, we have reddish brown pieces supporting the roof as well, which I think worked out very, very well. 
And on this side, we have the actual bedroom for Mr. and Mrs. Flume. We have a cute little queen's bed that has a nice array of color there, featuring blue, red, and pink, and some gold there as well. And a little sink in the corner there, which I thought would be quite essential for a home. And on this side, we have a little cute fireplace featuring two little translucent orange studs, of course. And of course, the little green window, which is also present right behind Mr. Flume's chair. Hope you guys can see that. <laughs> but there you go. And on top here, instead of closing it off like this section, I decided to leave this open and just show off the arc and the rainbow translucent cones as well. And of course, the roof is actually attached by these hinges on either side, which I think worked out very, very nicely in the original model. So I figured I would carry on with that and make it look even bigger and better. And now for the funnest and my favorite part of this project, I suppose, is the interior design of the Honeyduke Sweet Shop. So where the sweets are actually sold. I decided to go with an open concept here, of course, in a dollhouse-like fashion, much like the original set. But I figured that having half of a sweet shop will never be as good as having an entire sweet shop, right? <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. On this side, we have, of course, these stickered candy jars. We have the cashier featuring the Honeyduke sticker. We have an acid pop display there. I decided to just put that on the little pedestal at the front there. Something that I had a ton of fun just adding out of spite are these little honeyduke baskets on hinges featuring little cookies and sweets like that, which I had a ton of fun just doing. I figured that having them as storage units at the top like the original set would be quite boring and just not very interesting to look at or play with. So I decided to be a little creative and have fun with that cherries, another Honeyduke's basket which can move back and forth like that, and the little centerpiece here featuring the stickers. I didn't really change it at all. I just moved it to the side based on a reference photo that I saw. But if you actually move this out of the way, you can see that we have the original display of the translucent cones as well at the front of the main shop window. And on the side here, once again, we have the candy jars, lollipops, acid pops, popcorn, an overall very tasty and very delicious array of sweets. And as you can see for the flooring, I decided to just get rid of the uh, checkered effect at the front there with the black and white. I figured that it'll look very, very busy. So I just went with a clean basic white there at the back and at the front. And I think that it turned out pretty, pretty cool. And I'm really happy with the final result of this mod of the Honeyduke Sweet Shop. And there you go, we have the entire look at the back of my Honeyduke smock here. And I feel like that it looks very, very nice. And I'm really happy with the amount of detail that I managed to cram in this mod here, rather. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy it. And I figured that before I end the video, I'll share with you guys the leftover pieces I had from combining bags one to three twice from two different sets. So here's the first bag of extra pieces, mainly an array of roof pieces and of course the wizard cards. Obviously, I got duplicates. What's new? And in this bag here, we have a more colorful candy array that I just didn't really include in it because I didn't want the Honeyduke Sweet Shops to look too crowded. But there you go. We have some green, some plates there as well, some little details, and some hinges and stuff like that. But yeah, I would assume that I have around 150 pieces left over. On that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make a part two with the three broomsticks in the future. I'd love to do that if you guys want me to do that, of course. <laughs> and on that, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.